Good day, everybody. We're coming to you live from a secret location within Decibel Guitars Research and Development Facility. I wanted to show you something I'm working on. This is, uh, oh, it's not so top secret. I showed some uh, digital renders of a new inlay pattern I'm trying out uh, on the Facebook page the other day. And uh, I have uh, another experiment that I wanted to show you guys, but uh, this is it. Um, I'm experimenting with using a, a different fretboard material. This is a material called Rich Light. Um, this is a synthetic wood product. Well, it's not really synthetic. It's actually, it is made from wood. Uh, it's made from recycled paper, actually, and it's compressed um, with a resin under high pressure, and it creates a um, very sustainable wood alternative. Uh, it's available in a number of different colors. Uh, Gibson Guitars has been using it recently uh, as a replacement for ebony, and that's kind of what I'm looking at it for as well. Uh, finding true jet black ebony is getting very difficult and, you know, of course, in an effort to try to reduce my uh, carbon footprint a little bit, um, looking at alternatives. I've been using bamboo and I think some man-made alternatives like rich light and using carbon fiber where I can. Um, mix for just interesting challenges, but I think it's also, you know, trying to be a little bit more proactive and forward thinking in, uh, in terms of what I'm doing. But uh, so far, I've been very, very pleased with it. It machines, um, it machines quite well. It's it's extremely hard. It's way harder than ebony. Um, so it's it's really tough on the tools. I have to run the CNC very, very slowly to get uh, good results and not break too many bits. Um, but uh, it does sand beautifully, and it takes up a, a fantastic polish. You can see um, the light reflecting off there, and you might be sort of wondering why I'm in such odd lighting conditions. But uh, anyway, this is the uh, this is the new decibel sort of signature inlay pattern. Uh, I'm holding it kind of upside down right now. This is the way this is done right now. It's running along the treble side of the fretboard, so it's kind of at the bottom edge, uh, which is just kind of a unique, uh, different thing. I, I personally don't use uh, face dots all that much. Uh, I have no problem with using blank fretboards, uh, but I know a lot of people do like face dots and they do rely on them if, uh, if that's become what they've um, grown used to. But uh, these can be done along the base side of the fretboard as well, and it's basically just uh, it's like the oval from the decibel logo, which I think is kind of cool. It's a little different. But one of the challenges with doing that is, you know, one of the products I've really fallen in love with is Luminlay. And uh, they make it in rods. They do make it in a uh, solid sheet now as well, in, in small form factors that you can cut out and use as inlay. Um, but I wanted to try something uh, interesting, trying to synthesize my own liquid version of that so I can inlay it into more complex shapes and, and do some interesting things with it. Um, so there is, a, you know, Luminlay is made from a, a new generation of glow-in-the-dark materials. Uh, it's way better than the glow-in-the-dark stuff we grew up with. Um, the stuff is, you know, it glows incredibly brightly and grows, uh, glows for an incredibly long time as well. Um, it's very easy to work with, um, provided you are using, you know, a good quality resin and uh, you're not afraid to experiment a little bit to get the mix just right. So this is my first attempt, um, but as you can see, the inlays are black, or they appear to be black. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about that uh, as we go on. But uh, if I move it into the dark here, and I'll turn off the light. And as you can see, they are glowing. That's why I had them in the odd lighting conditions. Now, my iPhone camera is not picking that up very well. Uh, the iPhone 4 really sucks for low light performance. But, oh, there we go. So yeah, not, uh, it appears a little bit brighter than that in real life, but it's not quite as bright as Lumen Lane, but this is my first experiment with it. <clears throat> but what I've done, hey, there's me in the drain. Hello. Um, what I've done is I started off by cutting channels for the inlay in the fretboard. And then those are filled with black resin. Wait 24 hours for that to cure. Go back, run it again on the CNC, and cut a smaller channel within that. So I actually have about a half millimeter black border. And then that is subsequently filled again with the glow-in-the-dark material. Now this is my first experiment with mixing the, um, the glow powder with the resin. 
And I went a little light on the powder, a little heavy on the resin, so um, it's not as uh, dense or intense as it could be. But this is my first experiment. But that's the 12th fret inlay. And you can just make it out glowing there. I'm going to use my little blue LED glow charger that uh, I got from L uh, Lumen Lane. So these things charge with um, ultraviolet light. So uh, fluorescent lamps are really good if you uh, have a black light positioned over your guitar rack or your guitar stand. That's the, probably the best way to do it. Um, or you can do it sort of dot by dot uh, with a little um, blue or ultraviolet LED flashlight like I'm doing here. And about 10-15 seconds per dot, uh, but you know the in initial intensity does drop off quite quickly and then it'll sort of have a sustained glow for a number of hours. But uh, so that's that and there we go, you can see where it was, where the light was positioned over it. Cool.